Hey YouTube, Engineer775 here. Wanted to talk to you about uh, simple ways to get water out of your well. Many of you are already familiar with these um, pitcher pumps, they're called, and they rely on suction to pull the water up. Um, you can't pump water, you can't suck water or lift it more than around 30 feet. Theoretically, 34 feet is the max. One atmosphere times 2.31 gives you around 33 to 34 feet um, and uh, but that's barring no inefficiencies the pumps are rated for 25 25 feet like this pump you can pick these up at Lowe's or Home Depot uh, brand new with new gaskets obviously for $50 that's not a bad deal for what they can do they can pump quite a bit of water and in the pumps are two gaskets there's a, a cup leather cup gasket and there's also a check valve gasket that goes in the bottom. The cup travels up and down in this region here, the cylinder, making the, the, pr the suction. And then the, the check leather check valve with a weight on it keeps the water from, um, from you losing your prime. And that's about it. Now I've done, I'm going to do something a little different on my will with this pump. I'm going to put it on a cap. And uh, that is a little different than normal. We've got a lot of these caps. Um, we've been putting in simple pump, hand pumps. But uh, those are for deep well situations. And a lot of times we run into people with a shallow well um, under, you know, under 30 feet and they want to be able to get water out. So what we've done is taken an existing cap and sandwiched two couplings, sandwiched it between two couplings. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to screw this thing on. I'm going to try to. <laughs> well, basically we're going to put this on the well and so that I'm not leaning over so far to uh, pump water. So anyway you'll see what we're going to do. So that this is going to be the top section. Try to use PVC on everything. Galvanized does corrode. And so I'm going to use uh, 10 foot sections of inch and a quarter and that's the size of the th uh, female threads in the bottom of the, of the pump. And then I'm going to put in a middle section that's, and I just glued on threaded couplings. And then the bottom section, and on the bottom section I have a standard foot valve, check valve, that's going to keep the water in the drop pipe so I don't have to reprime. And, that, and if I do have to reprime, it's just going to be a little bit of water before I can start pumping again. So I'm going to go ahead and put in 30 feet of drop pipe. The sticks of PVC obviously come in 10 foot lengths. So I'm going to go ahead and put uh, 30 feet in, put that cap on my well casing, and pump some water. So let's go see how that works. I wanted to show you the parts first. So it's a pretty inexpensive way. I've got $50 into that. Now the cap is kind of special, but you don't have to do that. You can, any well seal that will accept inch and a quarter, um, you could find those. And the drop pipe, you know, probably... Um, I might have $50 in a PVC check valve, foot valve around 15 so 65 105 I would say right around $100 you can uh, build yourself a little pump system using a pitcher pump and uh, unless you can find some of the materials you can do it cheaper. You can find some of these, this was an old one that I have I found for $10 at a yard sale. So these are around and a gasket kit costs around seven to eight dollars on Amazon. Again the leather cup and the check valve on the bottom. So you can there are cheaper ways to do it but you shouldn't spend more than a hundred dollars um, to get the water out of your well. Let's go see if it works. Okay here we are putting the bottom section in. Again I have a because I do a lot of pump work, I have one of these uh, clamps, which is great. So it's an extra pair of hands. Usually I'd have two people. But I've got the uh, foot valve, and then inch and a quarter PVC pipe, 10 foot section. And then I get ready for the next one. I just clamp it, set the lock, and now that's my extra set of hands. Now I'm going to put in the middle section. Stop blowing the wind here. 
like a good cross thread on PVC. There we go. Now for now, I'm just going to put them together hand tight. I got Teflon on them. There's Teflon tape on the threads. A little better, but not much. I'm just putting it hand tight. Lock that up there. Let's clamp that in here. Okay. So now I've got three sections in. Now I'm going to put on the cap. Now there's a lot of different ways to do this. You can get a well seal with a um, with an inch and a quarter port. Um, what I'm doing is just using a, I had an extra simple pump cap kicking around. So I sandwiched two um, coupler, couplings together and a nipple in between. So I sandwiched the cap in between them. So I'm just gonna put this on the top, top drop pipe. Okay, unlock. Set that on there. Set it over here. This cap has some uh, set screws on it. And this is a six and a quarter inch PVC casing. Okay. Well, that's good there. And I should have enough Teflon on here. I put this uh, pipe so I didn't have to bend over too far to pump water. Okay, that's pretty much it. One of the things you have to do with these pumps, you have to prime them, especially when they're new, and you pour the water in the top and start pumping. You can, and you can feel it and you can hear it change. But then once it's primed, you don't need the bucket anymore. Do this a little more civilized here. So I'm pulling water from right about 25 feet. My static water is right at 25, but my recovery rate is at 16 gallons a minute, so I'm never going to out pump it. That's pretty good. So one step up from the baler bucket, you know, you can get a, a little longer handle would be nice, but, you know, this works fine. Uh, that was pretty good. That was a good move right there. Now i got to pump more water. I don't know what I was trying to do. Obviously, you can change hands if you get tired in that position. 
But if you want water, this is not going to bother you. So there. Suction method. You can't suck water. No pump in the world can suck water over 33 plus feet, theoretically in a vacuum, which is one atmosphere times 2.31. So take 14.7 times 2.31, and that's theoretically what any pump could suck. That's one, that's one atmosphere that's basically pulling things down to a vacuum. And uh, so that's what I'm doing with this pump is pulling a vacuum inside the drop pipe and that causes the water to, to lift by pulling the vacuum on the drop pipe. So there's a couple gallons of water. Awesome. Very good. So that works. So no pump can pull water over there's no pump, I don't care how many horsepower, how big a pump it is, it will never pull more than what this pump does by hand. Now, of course, in delivering, there's no question that this doesn't do much. But it, it will keep you alive, it'll keep your family alive. And Lowe's, Home Depot, a lot of places online, anywhere from $45 to $55, you can buy this uh, uh, brand new standard pitcher pump. And always buy an extra set of... Uh, the leather cup and the leather gasket in the bottom, about $8. So if you're going to buy a pump, I encourage you to buy an extra set of gaskets. Keep them in their plastic and put them away. So, all right, I think that's it. Uh, again, we're continuing the series all about wells. This is Engineer 775 signing off. Thanks for watching.